K-pop has crossed boundaries and has gained global attention. So much so, Hollywood is all set to make a movie with a K-pop theme. Is this really good news? Superficially, it looks like K-pop is being promoted as a global trend, but deep inside, there are dark secrets that are not in favor of K-pop. What are they? Let's explore. Currently, K-pop lost in America is a hot topic being discussed online. Okay, it is a movie on K-pop, but so far, the only two leading cast members finalists for the movie are Pitch Perfect famed actress Rebel Wilson and Riverdale actor Charles Melton. Yes, both are Hollywood actors and have nothing to do with K-pop. Let's get into more details about the movie. K-pop Lost in America is being produced by Linda Obst and CJ Entertainment's Mikey Lee. The most important part of the movie, the story is written by Jeff Kaplan and Ian Springer. The current draft was prepared by Karen McCullough and Kirsten Smith. Searching for Korean names? Here it is. The film is directed by South Korean filmmaker Yoong Jae Kyun of Miracle on First Street, Hyun Dai, Quick, and Ode to My Father's Fame. So the K-pop theme is written by Westerners and the movie is starred by Westerners again. What is the role of K-pop here? Let's have a look at the main plot of K-pop Lost in America. The story revolves around a K-pop group that finds themselves mistakenly stranded in Waco, Texas, instead of landing in New York just days before their American debut at Madison Square Garden. They are left with no phones, no money, and no transportation. The group is then forced to overcome their differences and brave many obstacles to make it to New York City. Along the way, they learn to love Texas and Texas learns to love them back. It looks like the movie is about how K-pop stars start loving Texas. Earlier, it was also said that a mentor will change the life of these stars and Rebel Wilson is likely to take up this role. So, it's most probably like K-pop in Hollywood seen through Rebel Wilson's eyes. In an earlier interview with Variety, director of the film, Yoong Jae Kyun had said that fans should expect K-pop stars as well as icons in the pop industry. Currently, it is said that Cha Eun Woo of Astro is in talks to star in the movie. Song Pi also stated that Cha Eun Woo was offered the leading role and that he even cleared part of his schedule for the second half of 2022 in order to prepare for filming, but nothing has been confirmed yet. With limited information available on K-pop lost in America, Asians have expressed fear of chances of stereotyping Korean pop. Stereotyping in Hollywood Isn't it strange that Rebel Wilson is the star of a movie on K-pop idols? According to Gina Davis Institute on Gender and Media, there is ample evidence for pop culture carving harmful perceptions of Asians of all racial groups. American sitcom Kim's Convenience is an example. The cast members themselves were objected to denigrating storylines and lack of diversity in the show. Let's look at some data. According to the SWATO report, surveying 329 Asian Americans in the entertainment industry revealed surprising results. The survey revealed that almost 93% agree that Asian and Pacific Islanders' representation on screen is not adequate. More than 75% said that they felt tokenized, and 81% said that they had experienced racism at work. Findings further stated that South Asian women were portrayed as exotic seductresses, and East Asian women were shown as innocent girls who were sexually available. And there are dragon ladies figures appearing every now and then in movies, depicted as women who use their femininity to deceive men. In the case of South Asian men, most of them are stereotyped as nerds, geeks working in the IT sector, or just greedy merchants or shop owners. Yellow Face Recently, there was rage over Jimmy Fallon's 20-year-old blackface act, meaning using black clothes and makeup to represent an African-American character. Fallon apologized to the audience for hurting the feelings of a community. Now, have you heard of Yellow Face? Yes. There is a form of theatrical makeup called yellow face that is used by European American performers to represent an East Asian character. This is rampantly used in both films and theater. This is an important piece of evidence because in Hollywood movies, several times white skinned Americans have used yellow face to represent an Asian character. Some of the examples for yellow face are In the 1967 film You Only Live Twice, James Bond, played by Sean Connery, disguised himself as a Japanese bridegroom in order to elude Spectre assassins. 
In the 1987 film Snow White, Diana Rigg played the role of an evil queen who disguised herself as an evil geisha merchant to kill Snow White with poisoned combs. She even mocked the Japanese accent in the movie. In the 2008 movie Be Kind Rewind, actor Jack Black, who played the character of Jerry, taped his eyes back to pretend to be Jackie Chan. In the 2011 movie Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, Robert Downey Jr. donned yellow face to disguise himself as a Chinese man. In the 2014 film Magic in the Moonlight, Colin Firth portrayed an Englishman who donned yellow face in order to pass as a Chinese illusionist. In recent years, there is a trend of adopting Asian novels in Hollywood movies. Though it looks like a good move, changes made in adaptation are not hopeful at all. The 2017 film Ghost in the Shell is an excellent example. Ghost in the Shell is a science fiction action film based on the Japanese manga of the same name by Masamune Shiro. The movie starred Scarlett Johansson in the lead role who played Major as Cyborg Super Soldier. In the comics, the name of the protagonist is Motoko Kusanagi, an Asian character. But this Japanese character was played by Scarlett Johansson and she was named Major in the movie. Another example is Tom Cruise's Edge of Tomorrow, which is based on the Japanese novel All You Need Is Kill. The protagonist was named Keiji Kiriya in the novel, but the name was changed to William Cage in the film adaptation of the novel. The 2016 Chinese-American movie The Great Wall is another example. The movie stars Matt Damon in the lead role. He plays a European mercenary warrior who is imprisoned by Imperial Chinese forces within the Great Wall of China. The story develops and Matt Damon joins forces with the Chinese to help them combat an alien threat. Yes, Matt Damon saves the people of China. This shows that there are three big problems in Hollywood adaptations of Asian plots. The first one is plot. That is, even if it is an adaptation of an Asian novel, most of the time it is projected as if Asian countries need a hero to save them from troubles and 99% of the time, the hero, be it male or female, is from a Western country. Protagonist Either the protagonist is a person from Western countries or a hero or heroine from Western countries is transformed to look like a person of Asian origin. But Hollywood films do not cast people of Asian origin as the leading stars of the movie. Characters Many Asians play various roles in Hollywood movies, but most of the people are limited to play roles that provide comic relief or a supporting role that enhances the significance of lead stars. In this backdrop, it is difficult to tell if the Rebel Wilson starred movie will reach the hearts of K-pop lovers or will it be lost in America. The movie K-pop Lost in America is supposed to start filming in fall, that is from September onwards. But so far, only Rebel Wilson and Charles Melton are confirmed as the lead star cast. Comments online read, I'm really scared the plot of this movie is going to be this lost K-pop boy group and a white girl who teaches Texas how to love them. Another comment read, Rebel Wilson has no business making this. One of the Twitter Roddy even said, K-pop Lost in America is literally the stupidest movie title I ever heard. I'm so sorry for the Korean actors that are getting their Hollywood debut this way. K-pop Lost in America isn't the Asian representation in Hollywood we're looking for said another netizen. When in real life, K-pop is making waves globally, is there a need to see what K-pop is through the eyes of Hollywood? The only hope now lies with the director of the movie, Yoon Jae Kyun, and co-producer Mikey Lee. Will these Koreans follow the usual path of stereotyping Asians in the movie, or will they make it a legit film that portrays K-pop in its true sense? Before rebelling, let's wait and watch.